ever pull an all-nighter and then somehow feel surprisingly okay the next day. Oh, yeah. Or like the opposite, right? You sleep like a solid eight hours, but you wake up, you're like, I could sleep eight more. Absolutely. Been there, hitting that snooze button, feeling guilty about those, those extra Zs. But what if sleep wasn't just about like our physical rest? Yeah. What if it was something, something more? So today, we're going on a deep dive, and we're going to be looking at sleep through the wisdom of Abraham Hicks. Now, for anyone who's maybe like new to Abraham Hicks or hasn't heard them before, think of it kind of like a universal think tank. Wow. And they're giving us these insights on life and, yeah, even sleep. Amazing. They're really known for their teachings on the law of attraction, this idea that, you know, what we focus on, we attract. And so today, we're going to be looking at this unique perspective on sleep through Abraham Hicks's eyes. It's not just a necessity, but it's actually like this unexpected powerhouse Interesting. for personal growth and making your desires a reality. And we're pulling specifically from this 2003 workshop in San Diego where someone asked about, you know, just feeling constantly tired, always fatigued. Okay. And what came out of that was this amazing exploration of how sleep is this path of least resistance. Oh, wow. But don't worry, this isn't about like sleeping your problems away. Got it. Yeah, no, that never works. Right, exactly. It always catches up with you. It always does. Yeah. So to really understand this, I think we have to kind of start with, well, what is resistance in the first place, right? Yeah, for sure. And when we're awake, we're bombarded by, by thoughts. Some good, some you know, not so good. Right. And it's when we resist those not so good thoughts, when we're dwelling on what we don't want, that's when we start to get into trouble. Yeah. I mean, that's when we're creating that resistance in our energy. Exactly. Yeah. So our thoughts and feelings, they have a certain energy to them, right? Like a vibration. Yes. And when we're stuck in that negativity, it's like that vibration tips low. Totally. But sleep, in a way, it gives us a break from all of that that mental chatter. Yes. And in that space of non-resistance, our vibration can then naturally start to rise. It's kind of like, um, you know, when you're tuning a radio dial and you're trying to get away from the static yeah. and suddenly you can hear the music. Yes. Like clear as day. It's like when you finally like step away from a problem you've been kind of obsessing over and then suddenly the solution is just like, oh, it's right there. It is. It's wild how that works. Yeah. Your intuition or however you want to call that. Exactly. Yeah. And Abraham Hicks even compares sleep to death. Whoa. Okay. But in a much less dramatic way. Okay, good. Well, good right. Not in like a morbid way, but it's about this, this temporary withdrawal of consciousness that allows us to have this reset, this recalibration. I see. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And this is where sleep starts to become really, really powerful because in that state of non-resistance, we're more aligned with our true selves, what Abraham Hicks calls like our source energy, okay. which is inherently positive and abundant. So we're like hitting the reset button each night, mm -hmm. clearing out all the energetic gunk, mm -hmm. and then waking up with like a clean slate. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, when you're taking a shower for your mind and spirit, like you wouldn't hesitate to wash away the day's grime from your body. Sleep lets you do the same for your inner world. Ah, oh, I love that. I love that analogy. But what about those nights when, you know, you just can't seem to quiet your mind? Yeah. You're tossing and turning, replaying every worry from the day. What do we do about that? Well, that's where this idea of sleep as a vibrational cleanse comes in. Remember how we were talking about thoughts having a certain vibration? Right. So all day long, we're broadcasting these vibrations. And unfortunately, not all of them are sending out you know, the most positive signals. So if we're going to bed and we're thinking about all these worries and stresses, it's like we're tucking ourselves in with a bad radio station just playing on repeat all night. Exactly. Yeah. You got it. And, you know, just like you wouldn't expect to wake up feeling refreshed after a night of listening to static, we can't expect our sleep to be truly restorative yeah. if we've spent those, you know, few hours before bed just steeped in that negative energy. That's such a, it's such a powerful image. Yeah. So how do we change the channel? Well, it's all about shifting our focus. Mm. So instead of you know, dwelling on what we don't want, we can consciously choose to tune into thoughts that feel good. Okay, so like gratitude, for example. Absolutely. Gratitude is like high vibe frequency. Just spend a few minutes before bed, even if it's just like three or four or five minutes, reflecting on the things that you're grateful for, big or small. And you're literally raising your vibration before you even drift off. And that makes me think of that feeling you get 
you know, after like a good meditation session yes. where you just feel like, ah, very calm and content. Right. So could meditation before bed be another way to kind of clear the airwaves? Absolutely. Meditation, journaling, even just simply visualizing the things that you want to manifest. These are all incredible ways to consciously direct your energy. Okay. You're inviting in those higher frequencies. You're setting the stage for a more, you know, aligned and abundant sleep experience. This is making so much sense. But there's this other thing too, right? Like I, mm -hmm. I think a lot of us have this this nagging feeling about sleeping too much. Like the the sleep guilt. Oh yeah, the sleep shame. Yes, the sleep shame. Like we should be up, you know, conquering the world, not hitting the snooze button. Right, hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah, hustle, hustle, hustle. How does Abraham Hicks kind of address that? Well, you've hit on such a common point of resistance there. Yeah. Because we've been so conditioned, I think you know, in in this society especially, to believe that sleep is this passive activity. Right. Almost like a guilty pleasure. Right. Right. Something that we should minimize in pursuit of productivity. But what Abraham Hicks reminds us is that sleep, when it's embraced without that guilt, without judgment, mm -hmm. it's actually a deeply productive state. Oh. It's an investment in our well being, our clarity, and yes, our ability to manifest the things that we want. So instead of like berating ourselves for sleeping in, we should almost be viewing it as like a strategic power nap for the soul. Yes. Yeah. Precisely. And here's the thing. Abraham Hicks suggests that the more aligned we are with our true selves, with who we really are, mm -hmm. the less sleep we actually need. So it's not about like forcing ourselves to, you know, sleep less or be on some kind of like, you know, crazy sleep schedule. But right. it's more about recognizing that when we're like living in alignment, when yeah. we're we're living our purpose, our passion, sure. our true selves, we just have more energy naturally. Yes. Think about a time when you were just like, completely engrossed in a project that you loved. Oh, yeah. Or maybe you were deeply connected to someone you cared about. You might not have even thought about how much sleep you were getting because you were so energized by the experience itself. Totally. That's alignment. Yeah, I've definitely had those days where I'm I'm so in the flow Yes. that like I totally lose track of time. And even if I haven't slept much, I still feel this this natural energy, this excitement. Exactly. That's your vibration humming at a higher frequency. I love it. And, you know, when you're vibrating at that level, life just, it feels a little more effortless, you know? It does. You don't need as much sleep to recharge yeah. because you're not constantly depleting your energy by, you know, being out of alignment, resisting the flow of life. This is so, it's so fascinating because we we often think of, you know, sleep as just this this very passive thing that our bodies do. Right. But we can actually approach it with so much more intention. It's absolutely. Almost like this nightly ritual for for aligning with with our desires. Yes. And it's about recognizing the power of that in-between state. Mm, right. You know, when you're you're waking, you're sleeping, you're drifting off. Yes. And instead of, you know, replaying those anxieties or those to-do lists in your mind. Right. Which I'm so guilty of. We all are. Yes. But imagine immersing yourself in the feeling of already having what you want. Okay. Visualize your desires as if they're happening right now. So it's almost like we're we're setting this powerful intention before we enter that, that really creative space of sleep. Exactly. And remember, what we focus on expands. Right. So if we're focusing on gratitude, on those positive expectations, on the feeling of alignment with our desires, that's what we're amplifying as we drift off to sleep. This has been such an eye-opening deep dive. It has. You know, we've learned that sleep, it's not just about physical rest. Hmm. It's actually this incredibly powerful tool for for releasing that resistance, raising our vibration. Yes. And yes, even manifesting our desire. Manifesting those dreams. Exactly. And, and instead of feeling guilty about, you know, those extra Zs, we can really start to approach sleep as this, this investment in our well-being, in our alignment. 100%. I love that. It all comes down to shifting our perspective, right? Yeah. When we view sleep through this more, I guess, you know, expanded lens, mm -hmm. we start to really unlock its hidden potential. It makes you wonder, like, what else have we underestimated? What other, like, everyday experiences might have, like, these hidden depths that we haven't even explored yet? That's the beauty of exploration, isn't it? It is. Always more to discover. Always more. And speaking of discoveries, we want to hear from you. Yes. Have you noticed a connection with between your sleep and, you know, maybe your overall well-being or your ability to kind of manifest your desires? 
let us know. Share your experiences with us. Yeah, we'd love to hear about it. Until then, sweet dreams. And may you wake up feeling, you know, aligned, energized, and ready to create that life that you desire.